Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog. This lesson is least common multiple. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And here we go. Here's our uh, common core strand for our teachers. And our question here is, how can we find the least common multiple of two whole numbers? So we're going to show you a, a few strategies here. And so uh, here's a problem right here. So Ralphie is having a barbecue. He is cooking hot dogs. The store sells hot dog packs and uh, packages of six and buns that are in packages of eight. Did you guys ever notice that, you guys? That's kind of weird. Um, so what is the least number of hot dogs he can buy to not have any leftover hot dogs or buns? So if he bought six hot dogs and eight buns right there, he'd have two buns left over. So he wants to know how many can he buy so there won't be any left over. So what we're looking at is a, a least common multiple, you guys. So a least common multiple is the smallest number that is co the common multiple of two or more other numbers. So we're going to find the least common multiple, the LCM, of 6 and 8, okay? So um, one way is that we can make a list of the first uh, multiples of uh, 6 and 8, and we're going to do uh, the first 8 multiples of 6 and 8. And you don't have to do 8, but I'm going to show you uh, with 8 in this one here. And the, and the reason why they said non-zero, because 0 is a multiple of all numbers, so we're just not going to include the number 0, okay? So, and then we'll circle the common multiples and then find the LCM. All right, let's slide that up right there. Okay, so here's the first um, uh, three multiples of 6. 6, and then 6 times 2, and 6 times 3. And what we can do is just keep adding 6 right here. So 18 plus 6 will give me my next multiple, so that's 24. 24 plus 6, 30 plus 6, 36 plus 6, finally 42 plus 6. There's the first eight multiples of 6. All right, so the, here's the first three multiples of 8. Let's uh, list uh, the next five multiples. So we can just keep adding 8. So 24 plus 8, or you can just think 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40 plus 8 plus 8, and then finally 56 plus 8 is 64. Okay, so there we did. We did the first uh, part right here. We listed the first 8 multiples of 6 and 8. So let's circle the common multiples, okay? Well, they both have 24 in common, and they both have 48 in common. So let's follow the directions and circle those guys. So now we're going to find the smallest common multiple. Well, the smallest common multiple is what's called the least common multiple. So that least common multiple is that, that 24 right there. Okay. All right. Here's a different way, you guys. We can use prime factorization, you guys, and put them into this Venn diagram right here. And in the middle right here would be the numbers that they have in common right there if they do. So we'll write the prime factorization of 6 and of 8. All right, I did that right here. 6 is equal to 2 times 3 right here. Okay, so 2 times 3, so we'll put a 3 right here. And then 8 equals 2 times 4. And then this 4 breaks down to 2 times 2. So these red 2's right here is 8. So 8 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, and then the next part is we're going to list uh, the common prime factors of our numbers right here, if they have any. Do, does 6 and 8 have any uh, common prime factor? Yeah, they both have a 2 in there. All right, so that's going to be the number that goes in the middle that they both share right there, okay? So now we're going to place the factors of the numbers in the appropriate parts of the Venn diagram. Okay, so 6 is equal to 3 times 2, and then 8 is equal to this same 2 times this 2 times this 2. So we'll put the common one inside of there. And then, so here's 6. 6 is 3 times 2. And then 8 is 2 times 2 times this leftover 2 right here. So we'll put another 2 in right there, okay? And then, let's just slide that up. Then to find the least common multiple this way, then we just find the product. Uh, product means multiply of all the numbers that we have in the Venn diagram. So we're going to multiply 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, all those numbers in there, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, okay? So we got 24 first by listing the first eight multiples of 6 and 8, and then here we did it with Venn diagrams and prime factorization. So the LCM is, is 24, so the least number of hot dogs that Ralphie can make without having any leftovers is 24 hot dogs right there. 
Okay, so explain how the diagram showed how prime factorization of 6 and 8. Okay, so here was 6 right here. They both shared the 2, so we put the common factor in the middle right here. And then in the circle for the prime factor of 6, there are these two numbers, 3 times 2. In the circle for the prime, factors, uh, prime factorization of 8 are all three of these 2s. This 2, this 2, this 2 right here. So um, it didn't ask for this in this part right here. This just said show how it showed the prime factorization. Here's 3 times 2 is 6. Here's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the LCM is just this number times this number times this number times this number. And that's how we got the 24 right there. Okay. All right. Here's a different way to use prime factorization, you guys, without the Venn diagram. So we'll do it this method. Uh, I like the Venn diagram method the best, you guys. Uh, uh, but we'll show you this method a couple of times, you guys. So use the prime factorization to show the, uh, to find the LCM of 12 and 18. So first, let's uh, write the prime factorization of each number. So 12 is um, uh, 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So 12 are this, these red numbers, 2 times 2 times 3. 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. All right, so the trick on this method is to line up the common factors and leave spaces for the uncommon factors. So look at the red numbers underneath the 12 right here, okay? And then the red numbers underneath the 18. Well, they both have a 2 in common, and they both have a 3 in common. So what we're going to do is line up these 2s together, and this one has an extra 2. Well, this one doesn't have an extra 2. So we're going to have a space underneath uh, for the 18. And this one has a 3, but it also has an additional 3 that this one doesn't have. So we're going to have a space. And you're thinking, what? What am I talking about? Well, this is what it is right here. Here's 12, 2 times 2 times 3 right there. And here's 18. It's 2. Now notice it doesn't have another 2 in there, so there's a space right there because it doesn't have another 2, so we're going to leave that there. They both share the 3s, but the 18 has an additional 3, so we have a space here because there isn't an additional 3 right here. And then what you do here is you multiply one number that are from each column. Well, columns go straight down, so we're going to multiply one number from this column. They both have 2s, so we'll take one of those 2s. We'll slide this down. We'll slide down just one of these threes, and we'll slide down that three right there, okay? So here we go. We're going to slide down just one two right there, okay? So it's important that we left spaces for the ones that they didn't have in common. And we'll slide this two down right here, okay? And then this one, we'll slide just one of them down right here, okay? So those are the ones that would go inside the middle of the Venn diagrams. You'd have just one two inside the Venn diagram and one three. All right, and then slide that one down right there, and then multiply those together. Two times two is four. Four times three is 12. 12 times three is 36. So the LCM of 12 and 18 is 36, okay? Let's try it with this one here, okay? So we'll do that same method. We'll line them up and leave spaces for the uncommon multiples, okay? We'll do it of 10, 15, and 25. All right, let's do the prime factorization. There's 10. 10 is 2 times 5. 15 is 3 times 5. 25 is 5 times 5. Okay, they both don't, or all of them don't have 2s. Only this one has 2. So we'll leave a space for a 2 in that one and a space for a 2 in that one. Okay, the only one that has a 3 is this one. So we'll leave a space for this one with a 3 and a space for this one with a 3. They all have 5, so we'll line up these 5s together. And then this one has an additional 5 right there. So can you see? Here's the additional 5 right there. Leave a space for this 2. Leave a space for this 3 right here and right here. And look, there's a space for the 2 right there. And then the 5s line up right there and then that one. And then we'll just uh, slide the numbers down, but we'll only slide one of these 5s down, okay? So here we go. We're going to bring the 2 down, bring the 3 down, bring one of those 5s down, and bring that last 5 down. And multiply 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is is 30. And then 30 times 5, well, I know 3 times 5 is 15, so 30 times 5 is 150, so the LCM is 150, okay? All right, now this one, they want us to use a, a list, so we're going to list the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 12, okay? So here's the multiples of 3. 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, and I can, or you can just keep adding 3. 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. I can keep going right there, but I don't need to because... The LCM is hidden inside of these numbers right here, okay? So look, 12 times 1, that's the LCM right there. These guys have the least common multiple is 12. But I listed more multiples of 12. To, uh, there's 12 times 2, 
12 times 3 or just keep adding 12 right there so the LCM is 12 okay so I knew it was going to be 12 right there as soon as I hit that because it was that multiple right there okay let's answer a couple of questions how can we tell whether uh, the LCM of a pair of numbers is one of the numbers give an example well that last example that we just did right there could be used as our example so when one of the numbers is a multiple of other see here 12 was a multiple of 3 then we knew that this 12 was going to be the LCM so if 12 is a if is a multiple of the other number then 12 will be the LCM right there okay all right and so explain one reason why we might use prime factorization instead of making a list for the multiples to find the LCM of 10, 15, and 25. Well, if we listed all the multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the multiples of 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, all the multiples of 25, 25, 50, 75, you get a big long list. So it would just take us longer and more space to list all the multiples of the 10 and 15 especially. For example, the multiples of 10, there's these numbers till we finally would get to the LCM of 150. So it would just take a longer time if we'd list the multiples. It's just quicker to do the prime factorization and then line them up so uh, there's spaces for the non-common ones. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great year this year. Take care.